Hey y'all, welcome to another video on the Emacs Goodie Series. Today we're going to talk about timestamps and how Emacs can automatically up those for you. So yeah, this might be something you're interested in, or like me, this might be something that I don't really have a use case for, but it's still rather interesting to know that Emacs can do this for you. So let's go ahead and demo it off. First I'm going to go into a project and yes, so I was demoing, demoing this out earlier and for it to work you need to it needs to find either a string of these two versions either timestamp with uh, brackets or timestamp with uh, quotes so those one of those two needs to be in the first few lines of the file otherwise nothing's going to happen and the way you enable or you make it happen is that you do meta x time stamp oops time dash stamp and so once i press it it should automatically update any timestamps so for example, the top line should update, ta-da. And if I demo it out with quotes, it should also work. Uh, let's see, it's a, a meta x timestamp. Oh, it does not, interesting, it's not working. Uh, but it did work with this, no? Interesting, I'll have to look at the doc string. Um, but anyways, the way you would use this is you would have you would call that timestamp function in the before save hook. That way it'll automatically update before it saves the file, which is pretty nice, a quick little way to do it. So let's jump into the documentation. Uh, and as you can see, maintain last change timestamps and files edited by Emacs. So yes, this is pretty straightforward. And as you can see, uh, it says yeah add hook before save hook so this is what I was talking about just simply do that in your init file and it will start doing it so let's go ahead and see the customization there's only one that's rather interesting which is the timestamp format because this you can change how it will display so obviously you have all these options as you can see so I'll leave it up to you to read them and figure out how you want it formatted but other than that, that is pretty much the main customization option that is interesting. Of course, you can add time zone, which is pretty cool. And some stuff about what happens about if it's not able to save it for whatever reason. There are some other variables, for example, def bar. These that I'm showing right here on the bottom in the mini buffer. These, as you can probably says, you can probably read that it says do not change. It says in the source code, do not change, but also in the comments, it says that if you want to change these for whatever reasons, for example, you want to change the regex that they use to update the file, to update the timestamps, you can do so, but change it or update the variables in file local only, file local only. That's what it says in the documentation because uh, they're very cautious of not messing it up <laughs> or not doing something that might change. I don't see why it will change if you're not doing much but regardless, let's just follow best practices of what the documentation says. So if you want to do that, let's go ahead and remember that you have to change it file locally. All right, that is pretty much the showcase of timestamp, which is pretty short and pretty simple and neat and not much, doesn't require much setting up. But yeah, that is it, thanks.